so boldly four or five years ago, Minister. Mr. Chairman, Louise Mr. Chairman. Upston. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, we, we've heard some comments uh, from the opposition about this piece of legislation uh, not being there for the protection of the environment. Well, I want to challenge that opposition. In nine years, did absolutely nothing structurally with the minister, with the ministry for the environment. Absolutely no progress in nine years. So all of a sudden we have a government that's actually willing to do something, that is willing to make some changes to optimise the protection of our environment by having a very clear and integrated system around the environment. So clearly dividing the fact that the Ministry for the Environment will have the clear responsibility of policy, the Environmental Protection Authority will have the responsibility for regulatory functions, and the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment as the auditor. Now, this side of the House sees that as a, as a nice flow, with the three different organisations having clear responsibilities, whereas, unfortunately, in that, uh, the nine years that those guys uh, were in power, they didn't make any changes at all. Now, now, speaking as the Member of Parliament for Taupo, the environment is absolutely critical to the economic growth of my electorate. A and so I get sick to death when the opposition members talk about the fact that this side of the House only has an economic growth agenda. Well, hello, you cannot separate the environment from our economic agenda. And I want to give you some examples, right? So if you look at forestry, if you look at farming, if you look at tourism, they are the fundamentals of economic growth in my electorate. Give you another example, geothermal. We are leading the world in renewable energy. Where is a lot of that centred? Where is it? In the Taupo electorate. Oh. What does this legislation enable? The creation of the Environmental Protection Authority enables consenting processes to be far more efficient than they ever were under that side's reign. So what we do, what we do, do you know what fast tracking means in this environment? It means jobs. Now, if that side of the House is so interested in getting jobs, I would have thought that they would be interested in projects that create jobs. Create jobs for construction, create jobs on an ongoing basis, creating wealth for the iwi that have joint ventures in the geothermal projects. Sounds like a bit of a win to me in terms of economic growth. Oh, but no, that side don't want to have something that's nice and simple, so we've got clear responsibilities, Let's just go back as a bit of a reminder. Go back. Clear responsibilities so the Ministry looks after policy, so that the EPA looks after regulation, provides some nice national direction for your regional council and your district council. And finally, Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment, very important role, provides the audit function. So it actually fits together very nicely and fits perfectly with the Blue Greens vision for New Zealand. Here we go, growing the economy, protecting the environment. And from my electorate, I'm very clear that those two go hand in hand. So I'm kind of stunned when the members on that side talk about a piecemeal approach. It's very integrated, it's very logical, fits together. We have national direction. What about issues like national policy statements that didn't come out of nine years of that side? All of a sudden, we finally have an, an, an authority that is being able to provide some guidance around that. Regional councils will actually have some direction, finally, finally, after how long? Nine years. Nine years. So I'm very proud of this legislation, Mr Chair. I think it's a, a very strong step forward. Um, is the second phase of the resource management reforms that have been so critical for jobs in my electorate. And, Mr Chair, that's why I'm proud of this legislation. That's why it is so important, because if we can get a few more new jobs up and running, not just in construction phases of some of these critical projects, but on an ongoing basis, then that's good for Taupo, and that's why I'm proud of it. Uh,